Hello, my name is Matt Nolf. I'm with P&G Technologies out of Michigan. We're a supplier of propane and natural gas kits for generators. Today we're going to be showing you an example conversion on the latest model Generac, the GP8000E. This is the Power Rush series. Uh, it's the 8000 running, 10,000 starting. Now the kit we're going to show you on this is going to be a custom kit designed specifically for this unit. So when you purchase this kit from us, it will be set and ready to go and ready to start up. So we'll go ahead and get ready to show you the installations. Okay, first thing what we're going to do is go ahead and remove what we need to remove back here to get access to our gasoline carb. Let's just go ahead and pull our air breather tube out. Just get that out of the way. Now you have a vibration bracket bolt back here. Go ahead and remove that. And then we'll go ahead and show you the next steps on that. Okay, now what we're going to do is go ahead and get our cover removed here. Get set to the side, pull our cleaner out. Now you got a little metal plate up in here, just pull that out. Go ahead and remove the two bolts here. We'll expose our gasoline carburetor. Get that one there. Get this out of the way. Okay, now you can just pull this to the side. I don't remove this hose here. You can just kind of tuck it to the side, so we'll show you the next steps. Okay, now obviously when we install our slim adapter on here, we're going to extend our air cleaner out. So what I did is this one was a little easier here. Just pull this back here, okay? And then get you some vice grips on the back side. That way you don't gnarl up your threads on your end. Lock them down and go ahead and you're just gonna turn them out about three or four turns. That gives you enough space to be able to get your air cleaner back on. And then we'll go ahead and show you the next steps. Okay, now that we've got our studs pulled out enough to give us our clearance to get our air cleaner box back on, we'll go ahead and install the gasket back on. Get our slim adapter put on there. And we'll go ahead and we're going to supply you with two other gaskets here. Go ahead and get them on there. You can go ahead and get this back up. And you can see you got plenty of meat left on there. To get your bolts back on or your nuts sorry and we'll go ahead and lock those down okay we'll go ahead and get our plate put back in here Okay, get our filter back in, get our cover back on, and that is that step there, like that now. There we go. Go ahead and lock that down. And that is that step right there. Okay, now we'll go ahead and get our spacer installed here. Sometimes this can be a little tricky. Kind of line it up. Pull your cleaner back and you can kind of see back in there a little bit. Until you get your hole lined up. There we go. We'll go ahead and lock that down. locked down go ahead and get our breather tube put back in here and that is that step there 
Okay, now what we're going to do is go ahead and mount our regulator assembly. Now this will all be pre-assembled for you so you won't have to fasten anything together. What we're going to do is mount this up here, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to come over from the corner of the frame over three inches, make a mark, and then from there over we want to go five and three quarters of an inch, make a mark, and then we're coming down right around an inch and three quarter. Uh, no, I take an oh, inch and a half. I'm sorry, inch and a half down from that. Um, go ahead and I get a center punch. Makes it easier for you so you're not wobbling your grill bit. And then we'll go ahead and drill this on our next step. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and drill this. Now the gas tank is behind here, so be careful you don't punch her all the way through. Um, I'm drilling these out 5 sixteenths of an inch. Okay, we got one. Let's put the other one here. We'll go ahead and clean them up and we'll show you the next step. Okay, now we'll go ahead and get our regulator mounted up here. We'll supply you all the hardware here. Get them lined up in there. Get our flat washer and lock washer nut on here. Do the same to this side over here. Flat washer, lock washer. Get our other nut started here. Okay, we'll go ahead and tighten them down. Alrighty, that's mounted there. Now we'll bring our holes around from our slim adapter. Go ahead and get that mounted up there. Lock that down. And we are ready to run this unit here. Now we'll get ready to go on it. All right, now we're going to go ahead and set this up to run on propane right now. We've got our regulator hooked up to our tank. Go ahead and take our connection over here. Sometimes these hoses may vary color. It just depends on, you know, Parker or Weatherhead and things like that. So let's go ahead and turn our propane tank on. Turn our valve on here, make sure our gasoline is in, our shutoff valve is in an off position. On the back of this unit is a primer button. Okay, we're going to go ahead and hit that primer button. And this is your power adjustment. We're going to preset these here as close as we can. You might have to have a minor adjustment, but you should be able to get it to fire right up. So let's go ahead and hit the button. Shoot some fuel in there. Hit our start. shouldn't have to mess with that anymore now when you're going to natural gas you'll just eliminate this section here okay and you'll bring your natural gas feed right to here now we also carry the natural gas hose three quarter inch for this unit which we definitely recommend and we have the quick connects so that's the steps on this side here okay that shows you the installation on the generac gp 8000 e now this is the Power Rush series. This is a newer version. We should, showed you the propane steps and then the natural gas steps. Again, this is a custom kit designed for this unit. It's not just a throw in a box kit uh, that you've got to assemble. Everything will be pre-done for you. So uh, if you're interested in this kit and you'd like to purchase it from us, you can go to our website at pngtechnologies.com or we can be reached at 734-992 2648. Uh, I hope this video helps. Uh, thank you very much for watching it and have a wonderful day.